Ask any track star and they'll tell you that speed is the key to winning the race. Ask any construction professional and they'll tell you that speed is more of a consideration today than it ever has been in the past. But what options does a contractor have when faced with a demanding schedule? Can we just move quicker, train harder, like a track star? Yeah, we can. If we could take a portion of the work from the job site into a controlled warehouse and did the work there, well then we could save time and money for our customers. Anytime you can take uh, work out of the field and put it in, put it in the shop where it's a more controlled environment, we're all gonna be better off. We'll take the engineering team's layout and then we integrate that into our model and make sure that our model works with all the other trades. And then once that's completed, then we push that information, that data into our production and they'll fabricate it up and get it out to the site. Once you figured out prefab, a lot of mistakes in the early years were they get it to the job site and things weren't fitting properly. Sequoia, as much as anybody, has fine-tuned that to a craft. Most traditional design engineering is done in 3D. What we do, we see it in 5D. Three dimensions that you would be used for generating drawings or BIM modeling. Cost is the fourth D. And fifth D is scheduling. Having that, that allows us to bring a lot of activities up front. And we start working on the job while we're still finishing the drawings and not impacting the outcome. But don't just take our word that prefabrication can increase the speed at which projects are built. Let's see it in action on an apartment complex in the South Lake Union neighborhood of downtown Seattle. A job where you're dealing with multiple units that's repeated is where fabrication really can succeed very well because it's, it's the same object that you can, you can mass produce and put it in you know, repetitively as you go. That apartment unit, that flow, that parade of trades, once it starts, that train keeps moving, right? So you really have to pre-plan. And on this job, it was a little even more unique because the podium level had three floors of 28 units. So we had 84 units in the first three floors. So that was coming back here, getting with Austin, starting even sooner than we maybe thought we would have, making sure our engineering's in alignment on down the road into our modeling, into our assemblies. So it was an opportunity to go, okay, we've done it before. Now we're gonna do it all in-house and now let's start even earlier so we can hit the ground running. Anything from conduit bends, welding racks, welding transformer stands, one line panels, transformers, load centers, strut racks, temp power, that all comes out of the OSP number one shop. As the old adage goes, time is money and money talks. Panels coming out with boxes on top. Um, it's really easy to slap it on the wall and bring the box on top. All the wires are pre-made up. Same with the lights. We had the lights for elevator shaft. It's had a 90 on with the box. Easy to slap it in. But overall, I think prefab saves a lot of time in the field. Anytime you're working in a controlled environment like we have here, you're taking weather out, you're taking safety risks out, you're taking noise, all the other distractions out of the, and, and giving everybody the, all the tools and parts they need to work efficiently. Right now we're pretty much done with the tower. We just pulled the tower crane out, so we got a couple build back units that we're doing. We're scheduled to finish in February, so um, here four months from now. So we roughed in all the way up, and then I started hopping around. Right now I'm working the, tying up the parking garage, doing exit signs and kind of some loose ends, just last minute things. It's about supporting the entire local, all the teams, and making sure we can continue to get work, you know, as we go forward in the market. The markets are changing. It's how we're just staying competitive. So I do see that prefab is that next step that, that we're taking. Sequoia's done great. They do a great job. It starts from the top uh, with with our uh, the PM that they have and uh, the general foreman. It's important that our electrical sub lead the effort and others follow behind them. And uh, so, yeah, Sequoia has done well for us and, and done well for on this project. Clients, they want information. They want information. The sooner they can find information, the better the decision can, they can make. And once you do, and you build that trust that you have the expertise to deliver that product, that's pretty powerful.
So if you're faced with a project that's deadlines seem unreachable, whether you're an owner, a developer, city manager, or a GC, look no further than your local Mika IBEW Powering America team. From Seattle, for Electric TV, I'm Dominic Giratano.